Hey guys, uh, Team Execution here again, JCT. What's up, y'all? Yeah, just here with another deck profile. This time it's going to be on plants, so... Um, I've been working on this for like about a month now. And it's been coming along quite nicely. It's debris plants, so... It's a pretty easy build. Um, not much to it. Just, yeah. So... Um, let's just get started. Um, first up, I run one Gores. Gores is just a staple. You gotta run him in this deck, especially since he gives you that free token. The level 7 token. Um, next you got one Caius. Caius is great. The removal effect is just insane. He just pops one card. Um, if your opponent's got 1,000 uh, life points left, you can just go for him and go for the game. Um, you summon to him, you, uh, remove himself from play, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. So, yeah... <clears throat> Next you got Titanio. Um Titanio works wonders against D Prison from Pulse. And with the Dandelion spam tokens, um it's just a great boss monster. It gets over Stardust, gets over Sheehan, gets over so many other monsters. Um next I run double Lone Fire. Because two Lone Fires, it's it's semi, but hey, what can we do? Uh great deck thinning um great deck thinning ability. On top of that, it gets any plant. So, you get Lone Fire, go for the Lone Fire, Lone Fire Titanial, um, or just good plays, good plays. Makes great plays. Um, next, you got Dandelion. Um, Dandelion overall is a great card. Um, he got limited due to his effect that he token spam so much. But aside from that, he's really just epic. He's a great card. Um, Spore. These are, these are the, uh, the plants of the deck, by the way. Uh, Spore and Gloatbolt. Your tuners of this deck. I need one Gloatbolt, by the way, guys. Um, Spore, if you're going for a late game, um, you already use Gloatbolt's effect to move from play, get level 2. Remove Lone Fire, get level 4. Synchro 1 with, uh, Synchro with a Dandy token, get 5. Uh, put out that Cataster. And just, it makes pretty big plays. Also, um, Gloatbolt and Spore. If you normal gl uh, Spore, you got that token on the field, go 2 for, uh, Formula Synchron. Makes great plays. All right, next you got your triple Raiko. Yes, Big Ben needs Raikos. Um, if you have Raikos, PM him. He needs them. Uh, very badly. Very badly. He's finishing up his Light Swarm, so... Um, but for now, three Raikos. It's basically the destruction power of this deck. Gets over Necro Valley, gets over Back Rows, gets through Deep Prisons, gets through Mirror Fours. It just it grabs any card, and the mill ability is just a plus with it. Because the, uh, the ability of mill in this deck is just ridiculous. And with the Raiko, I run one tech, um... Night Assailant. Night Assailant, you discard him for Quick Draw, and you can go ahead and grab uh, Raikou from your graveyard. Um, also, when you set, he's basically another Raikou that goes after monsters. So, it's just a great card. Next, you got the Tuners. Double the Bree Dragon. Yeah, Big Ben hates this card. Right, Big Ben? Uh, I'm going to burn it one day. <laughs> you hate them. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> the Bree Dragon, search for that Spore. You already have that token on the field. Uh, search for a second. Search for that dandelion. <clears throat> you can go for the A star, this, um, the shooting star play. If you send one card from the uh, top deck to the graveyard, uh, get that glow bulb, sync it with another token, grab that shooting star, grab that um, formula, that starters, draw a card, whatnot. He makes really big plays. Next, you got your double quick draw. Uh, quick draw is just great. He helps you give those uh, those drill warrior plays, the nitro warrior, the junk destroyer, just. Any plays involving Synchron Monsters, he's really great at. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, one Son Gone, one Car Trooper, and one Spear Reaper. This is the last of the monster build, the monster um, lineup. Son Gone basically searches out for any card in this deck, except for the Caius, the Gores, and the, mo uh, the uh, Chameleon. Excuse me. Um, Car Trooper, Mill Ability, and Draw Power. And Spear Reaper is just a great wall. And when he attacks, when he direct attacks, or... Yeah, when he direct attacks, um, your opponent... This uh discards one card. So yeah. Um next you got the spell lineup. You got one charge of the light brigade, grab that Raikou. Uh good for early game, especially when it's first turn. But not as not as hot when it's late game. Um you got one mind control, uh staple. For foolish. Send that um dandelion or send the spore to the graveyard. It's whatever you need. Um creature swap. I run two as a tech build. As a text choice over effect mailer. So 
so far, creature slots are working a lot better than a fake freezer would. <coughs> it's just been, like, you could grab those tokens, you could just pass them your tokens, you grab one of their monsters, you can go for the synchro, go for the pushes. It's just great, especially when you go for that Nitro Warrior. And they have that token in defense mode, which could practically screw them over. So, Kudra Sloth's a great card. Um, next I run one, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, True Nade, Book. Um, double MST, just Destruction Power, Back Row, Control, and lastly, um, of the Destruction cards, I run one, Nobleman of Extermination. It's a tech card. I'm thinking of running two. Um, Noble Man Extermination gets through those War Chariots. It really screws over Glads when you hit that War Chariot. Um, it also screws over uh, Starlight Road. It screws over a lot of big plays like Mirror Force, because I'm not running Mirror Force in this deck. Uh, I don't really choose to run Mirror Force due to the fact that um, I'm mostly controlling the back row. And with the Swarm on the front row, um, it's pretty easy to get past the Mirror Force. Um, I also don't run Torrential, which is great. Uh, especially in this build, since um, this this uh, format is pretty much trap based, so it's just it's great to grab at those trap cards and just it really screws up your opponent's plays. <coughs> Next, I run triple avarice. I know a lot of people only run two. I choose to run three due to the fact that you know it's ridiculous. I run three avarices and I never draw into them until mid or, or late game. I can never draw into them early game, like first turn. I can never draw into them, so. I run three Avarice, and they turn out to be really well, especially since you dump cards into the graveyard so quickly. Uh, first turn, you can make an, a dead Avar Avarice in your hand. Just liven up. Um, it speeds up your games. It speeds up the um, speeds up your plays. It just it's ridiculous. Um, three Avarice. Thank you. Um, shout out to Sean of the Burning Eye for helping me get those Avarices. Yeah, he's missing two now, but um, if you guys have any, if anyone else out there has um, Avarices and they're willing to trade them, um, looking for usual commons, supers if need be. Um, but for now. We need avarices. Uh, trap format, I run a small trap lineup. Just double bottomless. I don't run solo mornings because I have better things to do with my life points. I'd rather keep them than just give them away for like a 1,000 attack point monster. Just because you have an empty field. Next I got double dust tornado. Um, once again, backward destruction helps you set those bottomless for next turn. Um, I run one call and one starlight road. Um, Call of the Haunted just grabs that Titino, grabs that Dandelion, and doing the Camellia play. And Starlight Road is just flat out ridiculous. Your opponent is dark holding the field, you just play Starlight Road, you grab that Stardust. If you're trying Torrential, you just negate with Stardust, and it helps bring out that uh, Shooting Star play faster. Um, so now that's the main deck. I'm just going to real quickly go through the side deck. Um, I don't have much time, but yeah. Um, so my side deck. Um, well, not side deck. Yeah, is it side deck? Yeah, it's side deck. Um, I run... Deck. No, it's extra deck? Yes. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of sick today. Um, anyways. I run two Drill Warriors for quick draw. Um, just a great card. Helps you recycle monsters. And along with the six-star lineup, I run one Turbo Warrior for quick draw. Um, gets around Monarchs. It's, it basically rapes Monarchs. It tells them to fuck off in the face. Um, 2,500 attack. It gets through any Synchro monster up to 5,000 attack. And especially when um, you're playing against a quick draw deck, if your opponent plays turbo, you're pretty much screwed. That's why I run the creature swaps in the deck, just to get around the, their monsters, get around that turbo. So, um, if you don't want the synchro, with the synchron uh, archetype, you've got Nitro Warrior. I only run one copy. He's, uh, one is good enough. I don't need to run two. His effect is pretty broken. Uh, activate a spell card while you space him on the field. Um, attack boosts up by 1,000, 3,800. Gets over pretty much almost any synchro monster nowadays. And just, it, it practically rapes through defense. It rips through the tokens. Um, any floaters around, he gets past them. And he's, he swings for huge damage. Next, you got Destroyer. Junk Destroyer. Um, back row control once again. Also helps get through those Spirit Reapers, because there's not a lot of cards in here that can counter the Spirit Reapers just by direct, uh, just by attacking. That's why I got Rikos. I've run the, I run that Night Assailant. I run Junk Destroyer. So, it, it helps get through front rows. Um, that's pretty much it for the Sync Run. Uh, archetype. Next, we're moving on to the um, the regular synchros. Um, Ally of Justice Taster. Pray for me. I finally got a real one. Cost me twenty dollars, but um, yeah. So Taster. Um, I need a formula mon uh, formula synchron, guys. Um, I'll be buying it for like fifteen bucks, ten fifteen bucks. Um, so if you guys have a PM me, if you want any trades, go ahead. Um, I could trade like a plague and something else for it. I don't know. Um, 
One Iron Chain Dragon. Basic Monster. Mill effect. I find it better, a lot better than Briannac, to be honest. Because Briannac gets rid of your hand control, and with this deck, you need a stable hand. Without a stable hand, you can't really make big plays. Uh, but doesn't Iron Chain help you opponent? Or is, is Milling no mandatory? Um, it depends. Like, sometimes if you're playing against Necro Valley, you're playing against the, um, the GKs, it mills their Necro Valleys, it screws them over pretty bad, it gets rid of their steals, gets over their roll tributes, and etc. Um, if you're playing Life Sworns, it, it mills them out faster. Right, big man? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, you, you like my stuff. Yeah, that was funny. Anyways, um... So next you got your level... You got your, uh, level 7s. You got an Ancient Fairy Dragon against Necro Valley. Or Dragoon D Ravine. Using that plus 1,000. That neat... And also a great opening first turn. Special summon, one monster. Uh, level 4 lower. I run one Black Rose Dragon. Um, this isn't for trade, guys. Don't try and ask, because it's my friends. I'm borrowing it from them. But, um, yeah, I run Black Rose Dragon, because you run a lot of plants in here. It helps, um, with the... It's a great combo with Nitro Warrior, especially when you swing for the 38, and they got, like, a floater token or a monster in defense. And then you swing at theirs, you swing at that again, and you just take out a huge chunk of their life ones. Uh, moving on to the level 8s. I run Scrap Dragon. Because Scrap Dragon is so rape, the dandelion on the field. You can either pop Dandy or pop a token. Whatever helps you go for the great pushes. Um, Colossal Fighter. Just wall. Great wall. Yes, the Great Wall of China. That's what we call them. Um, Red Dragon Archfiend. Gets through back rows. Not back rows, excuse me. Gets through um, defense position. You attack into a spy. Try to special summon. They have to special summon and attack or it'll be destroyed. Um, shoot. Stardust Dragon, excuse me. Um, just staple. I'm thinking of running two. Taking out that ancient barrier or something. And lastly, one shooting star dragon. Um, oh yeah, also, you need, um, you're gonna need about four tokens in this deck. Three, just, three regular tokens, and your gores token. Yes, I customized this gores token. It looks ridiculously retarded. Everyone at my school hates it, but, hey, whatever. I like it. It's awesome. Level seven. Uh, light type. Um, uh, it wasn't even his gores that he cut up. Yeah, it, be it belongs to Z OMG, it's Kenny, but he gave it to me. Um, I bought him another one to pay him back, but he didn't want it, apparently, so... <laughs> no. Oh. Well, maybe. Okay. So, yeah, um, that's basically it. So, your monster lineup, trap lineup, spell lineup, your, um, quick draw arch type, your regular synchros, and then your tokens. Um, I don't do a side deck, because I don't necessarily have a side deck right now. My deck's pretty much good on its own. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, PM me uh, messages if you want if you want to trade me for those uh, that glow up or the uh, formula. So JCT from Team Execution, uh, peace out guys and thanks for watching. Bye.